better, but the harsh reality is On I'm unwell. My concentration is crap. My skin is crap. My hair is lank. Um, my body mass is 17.6, which is classed as a real dangerous low. I, I would have to say that you do look slightly... You come across as slightly mentally as a little lethargic, but you do seem a bit, a bit almost dopey, in, in effect. You're really hungry. All you can think about is food, so I think you're conversation is really limited because you can't be bothered because yeah. your mind's elsewhere. Do you feel like you're being affected by it psychologically? If I was to be totally 100% honest, I think another couple of weeks and I think my head would go. Mm. Louise has certainly changed shape over the last month, but that transformation has come at a heavy price. The diet has affected her both physically and mentally. I think eventually you start, you know, going down a pattern of eating less and less and less and your body can cope with less and the, the, the more days you spend being hungry, the more I think you get used to just being hungry and the feeling of being full is scary. As Louise knows, many eating disorders start with a seemingly innocent crash diet. But thankfully, her 30 days of starvation are finally over. And now all that's left to do is to see if she fits in that size zero dress. I could have the biggest event of my life coming up where I wanted to be a certain size and to look amazing for the world to see. But whatever the outcome of that would be, wouldn't have been worth what I feel I've put myself through and my little boy and my husband and my mum and dad because they've seen me at real lows and I'm not that kind of person. I'm a real get on with it girl and I haven't this last few weeks. I've been a real big sensitive cry baby. Well, I'm going to see if I can get into the damn dress. It's not called a dress, it's called a damn dress. I can't even refer to it as a dress because I refer to dresses as nice things. This is not. So, in the dress, the body fits in the dress, but the face is knackered. <laughs> I can now fit in a, what is a so-called size zero. I hate it, I don't feel any way, I just want to get out of it. For me, this dress just screams so many crappy times that that outweighs any kind of feeling of well, I've lost a bit of weight, and I'm sure if I was to go out in this tonight, people would go to me, you look well. But the first thing my mum said to me when she came in today was, there's just nothing in your eyes. You were just so over it all. So I think it's people that really know you and know you as a person that can see what dieting, extreme dieting has done to me. In 30 days, Louise has gone from a healthy seven stone 10 to a dangerously underweight six stone 13, losing a total of 11 pounds. Her BMI is now 17.6, so low it's within the diagnosis of anorexia. Her bust is now a 32B, her waist is 24, and her hips are 32. She's gone from a UK size eight to a tiny size four, an American size zero. With the diet finally behind her, Louise's best mate come round to start the healing process by taking her out for dinner. Girls, there's one thing I've got to do before we go out and get sloshed, and that is throw the dress away. What do you think? Yeah, do it. Get rid of it. In the bin. She was a nightmare at times. She was short with me, she was short with Charlie. And she's not like that as a person, really. She's very, you know, she's that bright. She's very, um... She's just a very happy girl, you know, and when, when she was, you could see there was a real change in her. Hi. Okay. I'm feeling it. I feel guilty. Just put it in. Come on, let's go out. It's gone. It's gone. And this. Definitely. This Definitely. is going. 
it's horrendous watching your daughter sort of feel hungry all the time, be low, be miserable, um, and losing her quality of life that she'd normally be doing. So that's that's hard to watch as a mum. I just want to get my Louise back to how she was. This is by far the hardest thing I've ever done to date. It, just the whole experience in, of dieting under a pressure. But for me, it would only be worth it if I've helped people to be aware, or more aware of how bad crash dieting is for you, um, and, and not to do it. I think there's a few people sitting at home and they're going to rethink, you know, putting themselves through a major crash diet, crash diet then, yeah, it's worth it. Just want to say, I've got a cheers, food, and sexy curves. There's another chance to catch up with last week's Benny Dorm at 11 here on ITV1, and it's the funny side of rehab afterwards. One off comedy with the Abbey at 11.30. That's all to come this Wednesday night after the news. Next. <laughs>